of all the trees in the enchanted field, there was one that was more magical than most. Today I'm making a fairy door for the garden. This is certainly Caroline, inspiring you to make it out of clay. Create your fairy tale world with new tutorials every week. I'll provide a link in the description with all that you'll need for this project. For an interior fairy door, plywood board, craft sticks, Palmer clay, liquid nails, acrylic craft paint, mortar and grout, flat stones. For an exterior door, you'll also need cement board, caulk, grout sealer, and varathane. If you're making a fairy door for the garden, you'll need a fourth inch cement board from a hardware store. Cement boards are readily available, so don't worry. If you're making a fairy door for your home, you can use a fourth inch plywood instead of the cement board. To cut the cement board, use a utility knife and a fresh blade, and then score it to death. I found it worked best if I scored it over and over and over again so that it was practically cut by the time I went to snap it. Look for the link in the description on how to cut both plywood and cement board. Also, cut 1 4 inch plywood to use as a base. Score those crafty craft sticks thoroughly before trying to snap them. Glue the plywood board and the cement board together with liquid nails. To create the carved stone look, I sculpted the fairy face and the leaves in polymer clay and secured them to real stones. I go into detail about how I did this in my tutorial from last week. Look for the link in the description. Cover the wood with black outdoor craft paint. Since you'll be gluing these pieces on after painting the door, you may want to leave a little bit unpainted so the glue sticks to the wood, not just the paint and cover the plywood on the back as well, and let that dry. First decide how you want to arrange your stones. And then mix your mortar. You'll definitely want to read the directions on the bag. I used a white mortar because that's what I happen to have in my supply, but I definitely would suggest gray. Let this dry for 24 hours. I found it was easiest to just use my fingers to push the grout into the spaces between the stones.
use a tool and a sponge to refine. Make sure to wring out the sponge a lot and then just swipe once, fold your sponge, swipe in another area, fold your sponge, swipe in another area. Use liquid nails to secure the embellishments to the door and let it dry for 24 hours. If you're making this for the garden, you'll need to add a couple coats of varnish to the painted wood and you'll need to seal the grout. Don't let the mortar and grout intimidate you. It really is easy once you get familiar with the process and you're going to love the earthy feel of the stones with the mud and then when you're done, you'll have an old world fairy door of real substance. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Do you have any tips on making a fairy door for the garden? Why do you like fairy doors? Do you have any little stories involving a fairy door? Please share your stories, tips, ideas, questions in the comments below. Click here for the supply list and line by line instructions for this tutorial. If you liked this video, click the like button and be sure to subscribe to my strange little world of polymer clay fairy tales if you haven't already.